Arizona's controversial immigration law front and center in Washington today. Arizona's Governor Jane Brewer, Brewer meeting with the president to talk more about it. The law allows police enforcing any law to check someone's immigration status if they think they are in the country illegally. I am encouraged that there's going to be much better dialogue uh, between um, the uh, federal government and the state of Arizona. Now, I, may, I hope that's not wishful thinking. The White House and other critics say the law promotes racial profiling. A Florida state lawmaker thinks Arizona's new law is such a good idea that he wants to do the same thing right here in Florida. I spoke with Republican State Representative Rich Workman of Melbourne earlier today. Rich Workman, thanks for being with us. Let's talk a little bit first about this issue of illegal immigration and why you have decided that you want to bring this up with the legislature. Well, I think it's clear that the federal government has uh, de determined that they are not going to do this for us. And as a sovereign state, we need to make sure that the safety of our citizens is paramount and we need to do something about it ourselves. I think Arizona has made a great step forward. And quite frankly, I think the citizens are tired of paying for the illegal immigrations in our state. Now, Arizona has taken a lot of flack over this law, but if you look at the polls nationwide, most Americans are in favor of it. Is that something that you considered? Uh, well, you don't legislate by poll, you legislate by what's right and what's wrong. And I will tell you that uh, Florida spends about $3.8 billion a year on health care and uh, uh, criminal justice for illegal aliens, and we could use that money somewhere else. Uh, and that, enough is, uh, that alone is enough uh, to pursue some illegal immigration laws here in Florida. Let's talk a little bit about why you think it is so important to bring up in Florida. You actually have some examples that you have uh, talked to some police chiefs about this. Just last night, a new police chief was sworn in in Rockledge, and I had an opportunity to speak to him and, and, and a police chief from Cocoa Beach, and they both had different stories. One was uh, being sued because he apprehended a, a suspect who he later t determined was an illegal immigrant. He called customs. They came and took him away to deport him um, uh, on the grounds of not having permission to or the legal authority to detain him for being illegal. He's being sued. On the other hand, the other uh, chief is being sued because he uh, got illegal, uh, determined somebody was illegal, uh, released him, he later killed somebody, and now the family of the deceased is suing. And so both of them asked the same thing. Rich, we don't care what you do, but tell us what to do. That's your job as a, legislation, uh, as a legislator. Do something about it and tell us which way to do. Codify in law how you want us to treat uh, illegal aliens, and that's exactly what I want to do. All right, Rich Workman, uh, thank you so much for being with us. We certainly appreciate your insight on this issue. My pleasure. Thanks, Amy.